fabled Hana Highway on the northeast shore of the island of Maui stretches 54 miles from Kahului to the remote town of Hana. The highway winds its way through lush tropical rainforest over dozens of one-lane bridges and narrow sections of roadway. Many have called the day trip down the twisting turning road a perilous journey. In recent years, the state has worked to improve the highway, bringing the road surface up to modern standards. But nearly all of the bridges between Kahului and Hana remain as they were originally built in the early 20th century. One lane with yield signs at both ends. Drivers are expected to stop at each end and, through country courtesy, negotiate who will cross the bridge first. The one-lane sections help keep the overall speed down on the highway, which has a speed limit of only 15 or 20 miles per hour. The state has plans to replace many of the bridges with two-lane modern spans to bring them up to standard. Many of the residents and visitors we spoke with on the road to Hana disagree with the plan. East Maui irrigation worker Lilan Ho'opi says, in the road, all right, but if you want to go wide in the bridge, you can make a two lane. Yeah, he's going to try to beat one on the other, no problems. So if like one lane lay, so you gotta know, you gotta yield to the oncoming traffic. Claudette LaRoche and Ben Benjamin from Boston seem to agree. Um, you know, if the bridges, the one lane bridges, uh, yeah. need repair, they may like uh, turn them into two lane bridges and, um, um, and make them a bit more modern. What do you think about that? I say no. No? Because it would distract from the beauty. I'm going to have to find I out think from you uh, traffic engineers. If there engineers. are a lot of accidents, then yeah. I would say change it. If there aren't any accidents, probably it's good because it makes people slow down. Helen Nakanelua has lived at K&I Point on the Hana Coast since the 1930s. She owns a taro farm passed down for five generations in her family, dating to King Kamehameha III's second Mahalia of 1847. So how's the traffic right now up, upside like that? Is it uh, pretty fast? Faster than before? Or? You mean like now? Yeah. Oh, certainly it's faster, faster. And that's why I don't blame people don't want the road to be widened. Because if they ride, they have the road wider, the traffic would be much in a hurry, rush and everything. In fact, as it is right now, how many accidents do we have? Tourists come in, go over the cliff mm -hmm. because they speed and then they climb over the rail and when there's no rail, they say the county didn't put rail, but when there's a rail there, they go outside of the rail or carry on a bridge over there and then you wonder why they're mucky. Mm -hmm. They fall and die. Mm -hmm. There's how many already on this? So I don't blame Hana. And here, yeah, don't want the road to be widened. Leave them as it is. In that case, they cannot speak, they cannot... Well, they think this is a city. In Hana Town, we spoke with Harry Hasegawa of the General Store fame. Um, I, I like the country lifestyle. And I think to preserve the atmosphere of the area, I think it should be kept. Keep the bridges small and narrow, maybe I can have a longer life. <laughs> it remains to be seen if the state will go ahead with its plan to modernize the rural highway and along with it the way of life along the entire coast. I'm Blaine Ferguson for StarBulletin.com.